Hey everyone, I'm first going to start this video by saying this is a rumor that could douse every other rumor we have about Snoke. This seems to be the most concrete and I can't wait to share it with you all. This is not my theory. This is a theory taken from Reddit by the user The Return of Boba Fett. I'm also going to put the link of his theory in the description to give him full credit on this awesome speculation. Great job, man. Now, on to the video. I'm going to read to you his theory from somewhere near the last third of the whole thing. I'll read it word for word, and then after, I'll give you my take on it. This is going to be a heavy and long video, so buckle up guys, and may the Force be with you. One of the most maligned issues in The Force Awakens is when Leia embraces Rey and not Chewbacca. It makes a little more sense if you consider she not only lost her husband that day, but her son as well. And down the ramp comes a girl that should be about the same age as the daughter she lost years ago. Suddenly, that scene makes a ton more sense. There's a lot more evidence to this theory in the book Bloodline, which even features a music box with lyrics that perfectly match the most popular song from Anastasia, but I want to keep this theory grounded in the films. Now if Rey was somehow lost to the solos, and it played a massive part in the fall of Ben Solo, then it stands to reason that Snoke himself could have been the one to orchestrate Rey's disappearance. But why? Why does Snoke need Ben Solo? Snoke has an army of stormtroopers raised from birth to kill. He has the finest military minds in the galaxy. He has super weapons capable of wiping out star systems. What does he need Ben Solo for? The answer is that he doesn't. Ben is personal. Snoke orchestrated the disappearing of Rey to tear the Solo family apart because he felt wronged. In even further examining the parallels between The Force Awakens and Anastasia, it's worth noting that the villain in Anastasia sold his soul for evil powers in order to do one thing and one thing only, destroy a man and his family where he felt he had been wronged. It just so happens that there is a character in the Star Wars films that would want to rip apart the Solo family, family for being wronged by Han, and an absolutely huge theme people are overlooking in The Force Awakens is that Han's past is catching up to him with consequences. Boba Fett. Last we saw of Boba, he was tumbling into the Sarlacc pit. Now look at Snoke's face. It's pretty messed up, almost melted, like the kind of damage stomach acid might do. In expanded media, there have been tons of events foreshadowing a much more important Fett character. It is now canon that Fett is the one who tells Vader that Luke is his son. Snoke has an intimate knowledge of going the ins and outs between Vader and Luke. He has witnessed Vader's moments of realizing he has a son. There have been two separate instances in the foreshadowing that Boba Fett survived the Sarlacc Pit in Aftermath, which is the book after The Force Awakens. The Knights of Ren. Now this is the part, guys, that I really... It, it clicked for me. So, here we go. The Knights of Ren. It is incredibly pertinent to know that the planet Mandalore is still canon, but that Mandalorian has not yet once been used in canon so far. The term could now be Mandalorian, as in Mandalorian Knights, the Knights of Ren. This is further backed by several of the knights wearing Mandalorian armor. The name First Order. Snoke isn't trying to bring back the Empire, he's trying to bring back the First Order ultimate power the galaxy ever saw and bring it back under Mandalorian rule. The story group has said that Snoke is not human, but he's humanoid. Boba isn't human, he's a clone. This fits. Snoke knows the name of the Millennium Falcon despite it being inactive on Jakku for God knows how long. Boba Fett is also the second most popular character from the original trilogy next to Darth Vader. His return would not be a head scratcher for casual audiences. Kylo's hilarious quip about leader Snoke considering using a clone army suddenly becomes a brilliant foreshadowing moment. In conclusion, my theory is that Boba, Snoke, Fett, arranged for Rey Solo to be kidnapped and killed so that he could corrupt Ben Solo and destroy the Solo family, making them suffer a fate worse than death. Snoke didn't account for the fact that the abductor of Rey, my money is on Phasma, would have a change of heart and desert the girl on Jakku. Now, the re-entrance of Rey into her brother's life will ultimately result in him discovering Snoke was behind it all, and will set up a path to his redemption. End. Whew! So, let me say first, I know what you're all thinking. 
Boba Fett has no Force abilities whatsoever, and this is true. However, what we know from the EU is that people who have latent abilities with the Force can activate them under levels of immense stress. I think being devoured by a giant sarlacc and having it try to digest you with stomach acid, all while being grinded by a black hole of serrated teeth, would induce enough levels of stress to unleash any latent powers of the Force that one may have. After escaping, he learned everything he could from the old Jedi or Sith Chronicles and tried to manifest his own new abilities further. I think it's definitely possible. The whole time I was trying to think, who is Snoke? Is he Sidious? Is he a lost Sith Lord? Or even more popular theory, is he Darth Plagueis the Wise? The thought of Snoke being Boba Fett who survived the Sarlacc Pit is absolutely ingenious and something I would never have thought of. This makes sense why Kylo sucks with the lightsaber and why he had to figure out how to create one himself with a cracked crystal. Because if Snoke is really the famous bounty hunter, he would have no clue as to how to create a real lightsaber or where to find the crystal for it. It's possible that he experimented in the past on how to make laser blades, and from there Kylo took whatever he had learned from Luke during his adolescent years as his Padawan to help him construct his unique crackling saber. This was an awesome theory, man, and I'd like to shout out once again the Reddit user who came up with it. Great job. This was really unique. Guys, thank you for watching. I can't wait to dive into the comments with you all about this. So leave this video a thumbs up, and as always, my friends, may the Force be with you.